All right, hello. We are in, uh, hold on, Lumberton, Mississippi. Uh, we've gone 56 miles in three hours, one minute. Uh, we just put some serious hurt on one another for the past 10 miles. Uh, coming up into this town, it was just incredible. Um, we have two dedications today from the road. This is my man, Kel, from L.A. This is Brian from L.A., both of the Mount Washington District, which is actually a mount. Named We're actually quarantined in Mount Washington. Yeah, we are. Uh, there's, there's gates that go up at the bottom of it at night and they can't leave. Um, we have two dedications um, today. Both of them are uh, children of cycling, if you will. Uh, our first dedication to a, to a pediatric cancer survivor is to Mark Caddis. He's 22 years old now. Uh, on, on October 9th, 2007, uh, he was diagnosed with stage 3 Hodgkin's lymphoma. That's very serious stuff. He's now a senior at UCSD. Um, his dad, Tom, is a good friend of ours from the cycling community. Love Tom. He's, he's ridden with us in L.A. He's a great man. He's a great supporter of Bob Love. He's just a great friend uh, on and off the bike. Um, and uh, the things I can tell you about Mark is that he's into uh, rock climbing. He's majoring in astrophysics. Like, that's pretty serious, right? That's not like that's theater. That's serious theater. Theater, guy, right? <laughs> theater. And what are you? You studied, like, ancient... Nothing. Ancient economic... Cartography. Cartography. Yeah. And so this guy is ancient a cancer Chinese survivor. It's, it, this guy's a um, cancer survivor. He's studying astrophysics. And I always say that cancer kids who make it through are special kids and they take a big bite out of life. I would say that Mark is one of those dudes. Uh, Jack Johnson uh, is, a, is a, a graduate of the UC system. He went to UC Santa Barbara. You know, a lot of great people come out of that system. Our next... Um, our next dedication is to a young man named David Okowitz. Wow. Uh, little dump truck action over there. David is from Milwaukee. He's from my hometown. Um, his parents, Mary and Jean, are very good friends of ours. Um, we just spent time with them in Milwaukee at the beginning of this ride. They support everything we do. Mary got some uh, news coverage for us at the beginning of the ride, um, for TV news coverage. And um, they came to our uh, to our Pablo Shutterbug show at the Hanson Dodge Creative Gallery uh, Thursday, the Thursday before our ride. Um, Mary's brother, Jim Okowitz, is basically the godfather of American bike racing. Um, Kurt, who's holding the information for us right now, um, can tell us Jim's history as soon as Kimmy turns the camera on him. There you go. Jim Okowitz, there you go. Well, let's see. Jim was instrumental in starting the 7-Eleven cycling team, which was the first American pro cycling team to uh, actually race in Europe. Um, when that sponsorship fell through, he continued to help develop cycling in the country and then went on to run the Motorola cycling team. Uh, and now he's uh, a, kind of a big guy in USA Cycling, continuing to develop young riders for American cycling. He, he's the team director for Team BMC, which is George Hincapie's team. And... Uh, uh, there's a BMC over there, no doubt only because of Team BMC. No doubt. And um, David Aquitz, Um he is um, in treatment. He's 19 years old now. He's a freshman at the Milwaukee School of Engineering, where I was yes. a college radio DJ at WMSE. That's, wow. that's the MSOE's wow. uh, radio station. They're sort of like the uh, college station in Milwaukee. Um, David is, is somebody who's been with us in our hearts. We've been following him um, since, we, since we met them. Um, the Alkowitz family uh, grew up about a mile and a half from where I grew up. And um, David's uncle runs uh, the Wisconsin Bike Week. He runs the Tour of America's Dairyland and all these big bike races in, in uh, the home state of, of me and Kurt. Uh, Wisconsin is sort of the cradle of American bike racing, and these guys are a big part of it. We sincerely hope that when David gets through this and kicks butt, that he can um, come out here and ride with us. I have no idea whether you're a rider, David, but based on your family's pedigree, you better be out here with us at some point soon. So, see you later. Cheers. Can I see that?